Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. We're at the end of January, so you know what time it is. It's time to put together our February TBR with the help of our prompt TBR jar. <laughs> I do one of these videos every single month. I have a lot of fun with them, and I'm very excited to get started. All right, so prompt number one. I'm always like a little anxious with the first one for some reason. You would think after doing this so many times I'd get over it, but no. <laughs> uh, all right, so our first one says, a book from an author you love. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly which book I'm gonna pick. I originally was thinking this was gonna be a little bit more difficult, even though it says it's like a book from an author that you love. I don't really have a whole lot of repeat authors on my book cart. <laughs> and typically when I find a book from an author that I love, it's a series and I just kind of like binge the series. However, I have two series that I'm like kind of in the middle of and I actually just recently talked about this. I've been taking them kind of like one at a time. Uh, so I do have two options for this. So our options are Savage Lover by Sophie Lark and then Powerless by Elsie Silver. If I purchase these correctly, these should be the third book in each of their respective series. Both of the series are like interconnected standalones, so you don't have to read them in order, uh, but they all kind of include the same characters. Basically each book you get like a different romance involving a different member of the family, but you still kind of get glimpses of the other characters. Uh, and it's just been a lot of fun. I've been really, really enjoying reading these books. So the big question is which one do I choose? I'm very tempted to pick both, but I do have like a big stack of books that I'm kind of saving for like a big collective book haul. And there's definitely some books in that pile that I want to read this coming month. So I don't want to like pick too many books, but then there's also too the possibility of picking another prompt that could work for one of these as well. So I could still end up picking both of them. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick Powerless. <laughs> I do like this series slightly more than this one. Uh, and also too, as far as like the prompt being picking a book from an author that you love, I've actually looked for and added other books from this author to my wish list. Whereas I haven't really done that with this one yet. So we're gonna go with Powerless. I feel like that was so long of an explanation for picking this book. So sorry. <laughs> Uh, so there's our first book. Prompt number two is going to be, let's pick that one. Oh my God, my hands are like not working today. <laughs> Random color generator picks cover. So basically I'm going to pull up a color generator and we have to pick a book that has the cover of the same color. Very simple, where is my phone? I found a little color wheel and I thought that would be more fun than just doing a regular, just like color generator. So let's go ahead and give it a spin. And it is going to land on blue. Okay, so first off, Savage Lovers definitely has blue in it. So we can still end up putting this one on our TBR, but then also almost kind of more excitingly, I think, because regardless if I pick it or not, I'm probably gonna end up reading this anyway this month, but. I just got done and dusted, which I honestly have no clue what this book is about. I literally just know that it's a cowboy romance. And because I've been so obsessed with the Chestnut Springs series, I really wanted to give this book a shot as well. It says, discover the sizzling small town brother's best friend romance that went viral on TikTok. She's off limits, but he's never been good at following the rules, which I'm already like obsessed with this. <laughs> and I'm actually not gonna go ahead and read the rest of the synopsis. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that because I feel like that says enough to get like excited about it. So that is our second book on our February TBR. Let's give this a little shake <laughs> and let's pick our third prompt. We're gonna go for this one. And this one says, a book of short stories. I actually just ordered a couple of books from Amazon yesterday, the day before yesterday, something like that. But one of them specifically is a collection of like fictional essays. But the book that I'm talking about is called Shit Cassandra Saw by Gwen E. Kirby. This is a book that I found out about last year and I've kind of like been going back and forth on whether or not to get it. The cover of this book is what initially drew me to it. I just, I love the cover of this book. I think it's so fun. But one of my big like reading goals this year is to kind of get more outside my comfort zone. So like I said, I just purchased this book and I also got like a memoir of sorts and then also uh, like a nonfiction book. Uh, but as far as this one goes, this one says, okay, <laughs> literally already there's a word that I don't know. It says in this ebullient, I'll put it on the screen. I have never seen this word before and I have no clue what it means. <laughs> Actually technology, I should be able to look this up. Okay, yes, so ebullient cheerful and full of energy. So 
in this cheerful and full of energy collection. <laughs> Virgins escape from being sacrificed, witches refuse to be burned, whores aren't ashamed, and every woman gets a chance to be a radioactive cockroach warrior who snaps back at catcallers. When these women tell the stories of their triumphs as well as their pain, they emerge as funny, angry, loud, horny, lonely, strong protagonists who refuse to be secondary characters a moment longer. So essentially this is a collection of just like fun, fictional, like kind of like feministy type of short stories. And I think it just sounds fun. So, <laughs> Chick Cassandra Saw is going to be our fourth, not fourth, our third book on our February TBR. Now let's go ahead and pick our fourth. And we're gonna go for, we're gonna go for this one. A book with your least favorite color on the cover. My least favorite color. Well, honestly, my least favorite color is orange. And funny enough, the only book that has even a little bit of orange on it is this one and I actually love this cover. <laughs> it was the whole reason I bought this book. Um, and this one is essentially a whodunit murder mystery uh, where Sister Holiday, a nun, is trying to solve a murder. So it definitely sounds fun. <laughs> I don't know that I'm really in a thriller mood for February. I'm definitely not in one currently. So I feel kind of guilty adding this to my TBR knowing right off the bat that I probably won't read it. <laughs> But at the same time, I do think the second book in the series is coming out in March, if I remember correctly. So it would kind of be perfect to read this in February. So we'll just go ahead and put this one on our TBR for now anyway, and just hope for the best. <laughs> All right, so now we are on our fifth and final prompt. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay, one just like shot out of the, the jar and smacked me on the shoulder. So let's go ahead and pick this one because it clearly wants to be picked. A book with flowers on the cover. Ooh, that could be fun and totally fits in with February. Love it. So this one kind of has flowers. This is Plain Bad Heroines. It's essentially a murder mystery uh, set in kind of like an academic setting. Ooh. To Kill a Shadow has flowers on it. On the back of the book, it has a quote that says, in a world of darkness, become the nightmare. And I love that. So this is definitely a strong contender. This one also has some flowers, but I've said this so many times, I need to read Caraval first. <laughs> I know I don't like have to, but I would like to. Uh, nope, no flowers on that one. No, no. There is also the option of The Scarlet Veil, which is essentially the spinoff of the Servant and Dove series, which I literally just finished reading last night. And originally my plan was to read this right after that, but I read the synopsis for it and I'm a little nervous about it because I feel like one of the characters that we grew to love in that series is going to get burned in this one. And I'm... <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for that. In general, right after I finish a series, I'm already already sad because I feel like I'm like never gonna see my friends again. So I don't wanna then jump into a book to see my friends and see one of them get hurt, you know? I know I'm being very dramatic, but I, I think I need some time before I get into this one. I definitely still wanna read it. I just need some time. <laughs> and I think that's really my only other option. So we're gonna go ahead and go with To Kill a Shadow. So we are finished picking our February TBR. I definitely have plans to read a ton of other things, hopefully. <laughs> but as far as our TBR jar picks, uh, the books that I'm gonna be reading in February are Powerless by Elsie Silver, Den and Dusted by Lila Sage, Shit Cassandra Saw by Gwen something, <laughs> can't remember the last name, Scorched Grace by Margot something I can't pronounce, and then To Kill a Shadow by Katherine Quinn. And I'm also gonna go ahead and just add Savage Lover by Sophie Lark onto that list as well because I'm I'm definitely gonna be reading that. And that is gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what books you're planning on reading in February. I hope you have slash have had the most amazing of days and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.